hi guys this is a b on your way once more again now uh, today we are looking at the interpretation of linear and quadratic graph how we can able to copy and complete and then graph it and then interpret with all the questions today i'm going to show you how able to do this quick and then get over it and get all your maximum points and then have time to finish all the questions this is 2018 question every year they drop a question from here and it takes most of the student time even how to uh, do, read a graph and all that having a problematic so we are doing this video to uh, cover all that as we are getting closer into our WASIC 2022 for Ghana Gambia and uh, some other African country I know the Nigerian people have already taken it but already so here copy and complete the table uh, please don't forget to subscribe like the video and leave us comment are we supposed to copy and complete the following table for relation y is equals to 2 into bracket x plus 2 or squared minus 3 and then after that we are supposed to graph it and then answer some questions so let's go all that we have been asked is just to copy and complete we don't need to show our work in our previous example that i did i did give you the step by step way to show your work if you want to show your work that's fine but you can plug into the calculator get your numbers fill it in and then get over with and you will still receive your maximum mark here we are starting from this negative 5 so when x is equals to negative 5 wherever i see x i will replace it with negative 5 so let me grab my calculator so i got 2 into bracket negative is here negative 5 plus 2 close it squared minus 3 so we got 15 so you write your 15 right here now you go pick it again two to bracket negative four plus two close it squared minus three that give us five five here pick your calculator back even if you want to if you want to go with speed you can just grab the calculator and then just delete it from here and we have to replace negative one and then boom here you get negative one easy peasy grab the calculator again then you can go here delete and then here one so you write one boom equal and that give us 15. last one grab the calculator and go change the negative one to two and then boom you got 29. okay so right now we are on the graph side and on x axis they want us to two centimeters to one unit on the x axis you label your x axis and this is your y axis this is the origin which is the center and then every 10 small boxes is uh two centimeters as we are going here we need to go all the way to two so this is one here is two three and so forth here is negative one negative two we are making all the way to negative five so negative three neck four neck five and then on the y axis every two centimeters to five small ten boxes is equals to two centimeters so here is going to be five ten fifteen twenty 25 and here is going to be 30 on the edge up there it's going to be 30 okay. so you make sure you label all this thing because uh it's all for credit if you don't do, do it you're going to lose a point and now we are going to plot the points so we are starting from here negative 5 and 15 so negative 5 15 you make it dot here and then negative four five negative four five make your dot over there negative three one since the whole of this is five each small two boxes is going to be one so it's going to be one two there it's going to be right here negative three negative one so it's supposed to be down here two box negative two negative three so negative two we're going to count six boxes it's going to be equals to that make a point right there zero five and so the next point is zero five so zero zero five is right here and then one is 15 so 
115 right here and 229 so this all the way in here is 30 so if you take one of it so we take two box out of that the 29 have to be here come now we are going to phrase it through the points to get our stuff i believe we did a negative one negative one negative one was one that was supposed to be here mm -hmm. yeah so we are going to trace it through the points to form to get our parabola so let's is a free hand just do it smoothly yes right there awesome so now we have to move on to C to answer the questions. They want us to use a graph to find the solution of these two equations. So let's go ahead and solve for I. Remember this graph here that we got is Y is equals to two X plus two or squared minus three. So as we are solving I, we know that the I is two X plus two or squared is equals to three so let's bring the three inside here and then we compare with this so when we do that we get two into parentheses x plus two squared minus three then the right answer will be zero okay so as we compare it with the given equation which we can also write it as that I just swap it you realize that everything look intact and then the y is equals to zero so the y is equals to zero that is the same as x as is so this one here is the same as y is equals to zero so when the y is equals to zero we have to look at where did the points where did the line the orbit go through and that's going to give us a solution so here we could say that this is i uh, say point two negative three point six so the solution set so therefore the solution for that of that is going to be x is equals to negative three point two and x is equals to negative here one two so negative 0.7 as such okay all right let's go ahead and do it kind of we are writing everywhere but in exams you have your own paper to write kind of uh, the work is everywhere forgive me for that the i i i they're looking for solutions set for two into brackets x plus two or squared is equals to five we will always compare it with the graph that we're able to so here as we are comparing we see that here there is a negative three so you could break this into three plus two okay and then you bring the three over here minus three is equals to two and then you compare it with the given graph here which is 2x plus 2 or squared minus 3 and is equals to y. So here we could see that, oh, the line, for us to get a solution of that, the line have to go through y is equals to 2. You're going to grab your ruler because we are tracing it from the graph. So you grab your ruler. Now you're going to trace when the y is equals to 2 so the line y is equals to 2 remember on here every two points represent 1 so 4 so it's going to be so you would draw a line right here so that line is y is equals to 2 and then you can trace it to the x axis to find your values that you're looking for so therefore the solution has to be x is equals to negative 3.6 and here negative 0 0.4 
the examiners is now going to tidy you up with this specific numbers they will give you a range because they are not giving you a graphing tool to do it is a free hand so definitely the points is going to be a little bit off and you will still get it right all right cool so the last one that they want us to find they want us to find the interval where the graph was increasing so we go back to the graph so where the graph was increasing can indicate it from here so around here i mean it was coming down was coming down and once it gets here that's where it started increasing so it started increasing from here let me pick another color for you to see better so it started increasing from here boom mm, all the way and it stopped at that number but we gotta trace it to the x axis so here we trace it to the x axis right there and the graph was increasing is started from negative 2 right your x here and you write your positive 2 here so it started increasing from when it's greater than x and less than or equals to or in other words you can say that x is greater than greater than negative 2 in this particular it could quadratic could go on and on and on but in this particular this is where the graph was increasing guys thank you very much for sticking with me all the way to the end it have been a little bit using the tools to graph is really really hard but hey we have determined that we want to give you all the information that you need in order for you to pass and pass really well with the a uh, please go ahead and subscribe like the video and leave us a comment be blessed bye bye